Hey guys, Tristan here. I run TBH Anime Manga. Basically what this channel is about is to give my honest opinion on anime and manga. I was gonna do an intro video, I just couldn't get into it. I failed a lot, so I kinda skipped it. So let's just call this my intro video. I'm gonna do a review instead. This is the first manga that I ever read. It's called Hot Gimmick by Miki Aihara. The version of that I got of it was the VizBig version, but it does also come in the Shoujo B single volumes. There's 12 volumes in all for VizBig. It's overall a fairly decent story. It's a romance-esque, slice-of-life-ish, reverse harem sorta style of show. But overall to me, the story, it was pretty interesting. I mean, I didn't... I found myself wanting to read the next chapters, but I didn't find myself, like, eager at all. Because, you know, it was interesting, but at certain points it dragged on, and I just didn't want to read anymore. <sighs> Basically, this book follows a girl named Hatsumi Narita. Her family lives in a corporate housing complex in Tokyo, and this corporate housing complex is run by the Tachibanas. Tachibana's son, Ryoki, is an old friend of Hatsumi's, but he's not exactly a friend. They have a friend, a mutual friend, named Asuza. He's a friendly in the beginning, but watch out for him. Throughout the book, you'll learn most of the names of the other characters. You have Akane, her, older, her younger sister, you have Shinobu, her older brother, and you have Subaru, Ryoki, and Hatsumi's friend. Ryoki and Hatsumi, years before, had had a problem, so they aren't really friends anymore. Overall, the book is a kind of a romance following those two, but it's also, in a sense, a mystery because of certain things and kind of suspenseful at the same time. The writing style, it's not terrible. It's not the most amazing thing in the world, but it's not bad. I enjoyed it. It was very intriguing. Uh, the art style, Miki Aihara's art style is the same through all of her books, so it's a good thing, but because it's in black and white, being a manga, you sometimes can't tell characters apart, so you don't know who it is until they say the name. Other than that, there are a few points that are sexual. Um, there is one thing that might get a little, might be a little bit of a problem for certain people of a younger age, but it's nothing in depth, it's just the basic hinting around. It's hinting around sex and you see boobs, but that's just the sexual content. What I'm saying is, it kind of hints towards a gang ganging up on a girl situation. That's like two chapters of it and nothing happens, luckily. Profanity-wise, I believe they use the F word once or twice. Um, and that's in all 12 books. So it wasn't a lot. Other than that, they really, like, they used hell and damn, but nothing much after that. Other than that, overall the story was intriguing, but kind of dragged on at points. I found, personally, I found that I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 stars, because it's not perfect. It, the, the art can use some improvement. The story could have been a little better, but other than that, it was enjoyable. It was an interesting read, but... That's really basically it. It wasn't, wasn't the worst read in the world, but it wasn't the best. Um, stay tuned for next week, because next week I'll be doing a review on my other favorite series, Chobits. I just recently got a Twitter. It's at TBH Anime Manga. I'll be posting polls. I'll be posting interesting information. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me anything that you think is missing. Stay awesome.